Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create HubSpot contacts from Facebook lead ads and add details in a table. So I run an architecture firm and to promote my firm, I'm running some Facebook lead ads. So here in this case, I want whenever I receive a new lead through my Facebook lead ad, automatically using that details, a new contact should be created in my HubSpot account. And after creating a contact, automatically that lead detail should be added in my Airtable account as a new row. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Babli Connect. So here to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create HubSpot contacts from Facebook lead ads and add details in Airtable. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I run an architecture firm and I use Facebook lead ads to attract potential clients interested in our design services. So this is my Facebook page which I have created for my firm with the name Constructive Visions. And here to promote my firm, I am running some Facebook lead ads. So here in this case I want, whenever I receive a new lead through my Facebook lead ad, automatically that lead should be added as a contact in my HubSpot account. And after that, automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Airtable as a new row. So by integrating Facebook lead ads with HubSpot and Airtable, I can automatically create a new contact in HubSpot and organize their details in Airtable. So here to build this connection, I need to connect my Facebook lead ad with my HubSpot and my Airtable account. This setup allows me to quickly follow up with my lead, keep track of her requirements and ensure nothing falls through the cracks. It helps me to stay organized and provide better service turning leads into happy clients. So here to build this connection, I am going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus, it keeps everything organized and error-free so you can focus on growing your business hustle-free. So, this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in, here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as create HubSpot contacts from Facebook lead ads and add details in air table. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect. Moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads. So Facebook lead ads are a type of advertising format on Facebook that helps businesses collect contact information from people interested in their products or services. 
they are used to generate leads directly on Facebook without requiring users to leave the platform to fill out a form on a website. When someone clicks on a lead ad, they see a form pre-filled with their Facebook information, making it quick and easy for them to submit their details, such as name, email address and phone number. Businesses use Facebook lead ads to build their customer base by capturing leads effectively, which they can then follow up with through email marketing, sales calls or other communications to convert them into customers. It's a convenient way for businesses to reach potential customers and grow their sales directly on Facebook. So here in my Facebook lead ads trigger, I'm going to select my trigger event as new lead instant so that whenever a new lead is received in my Facebook lead ads, instantly Public Connect should capture the response. And now to connect my Facebook lead ads with Public Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Facebook lead ads account is already connected with Public Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. Here I'm going to select my desired account and authorization successful. So here it easily got connected because here I was already logged in in my Facebook account. So to build an easy connection, make sure you are already logged in in your Facebook account. And now here after building a successful connection, here it is asking me to select the page and the legion form. So here to get this page, let me take you back to my Facebook account. And here you can see the page which I have created with the name Constructive Visions. So moving back to Pabli's window and here I'm going to search for my page which is named as Constructive Visions. So this is my page. And now here after selecting the page, here it is asking for Legion form. So for Legion form, let me take you to my Meta Business Suit. So here in my Meta Business Suit, under Lead Ads form, you can see all the Lead Ads form which I have created for my use and you can create your own Lead Ad form as per your need. And here in this case, I am going to use a Lead Ad form which is named as Lead Form. So moving back to my Pabli's window and here in my Lead Gen form, I am going to select my form as Lead Form. So here I have selected a single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect, then you can select all Legion forms. And now here after selecting my page and my Legion form, I am going to click on this save and send test request. And here you can see after clicking on save and send test request, here it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response, we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, we need to generate a test lead in our Facebook lead ad. So here to generate a test lead, let me take you to Meta for Developers. So this is the home page of Meta for Developers and from here I'm going to click on this more. And from here I'm going to select Tools. Now here under developer tools, I'm going to select lead ads R2 debug tool. And here you can see under lead ads testing tool, here it is asking me to select my page and my form. So here I'm going to select my page which is named as constructive visions. So this is my page. And here I'm going to select my form that is lead form. And now here to generate a test lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. And now here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as dummy, last name as lead, email as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com, a random phone number and city as Bhopal. So here I've successfully added a dummy data and now I'm going to click on this continue and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's go and check our Pabli's window. And here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received the first name, last name, email, phone number, city and some other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to action step. And here I'm going to select my first action application as HubSpot. 
So HubSpot is an all-in-one platform designed to help businesses grow by providing tools for marketing, sales, customer service and content management. It's like having a digital Swiss army knife for your business needs. People use HubSpot because it simplifies managing and nurturing customer relationships, automating marketing campaigns, tracking sales leads and providing top-notch customer support. It's a user-friendly and integrates seamlessly with other apps, making it easier for businesses to attract, engage and delight customers. Whether you are a small business or a large enterprise, HubSpot helps streamline your operations and drive growth effectively. So here in my HubSpot CRM action step, I'm going to select my action event as create a contact. So that whenever a new lead is received in my Facebook lead ads, automatically using that details, a new contact should be created for that lead in my HubSpot CRM account. And now to connect my HubSpot CRM with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your HubSpot CRM account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with HubSpot CRM. Here you can see it is asking for a permission and here it is asking me to select my account. So here I'm going to use an account which is named as Pabli. So here I've selected my account and now I'm going to click on this choose account. And authorization successful. So again here it easily got connected because I was already logged in in my HubSpot account. So to build an easy connection, make sure you are already logged in in your HubSpot account. So moving back to Pabli's window and here after building a successful connection, moving forward and now here it is asking me for street address, age, annual revenue and some other fields. So here I'm going to enter the data in some specific fields only. So here I'm going to leave the street address, age, annual revenue and these calendly fields because these are not a required field and here I'm going to ignore these fields. But if you want to add these data then you can do it as per your need. And now here it is asking for a city. So here instead of entering the city manually, here I'm going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I'm going to map the data from the response I have received in my trigger step. Mapping makes the text dynamic so that whenever a new lead is generated in the Facebook lead ads, automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So here I'm going to map the city. So this is the city. Moving forward, again this close date, company name, size, country, region, date of birth, degree is not a required field. So here I'm going to ignore them. And here I'm going to map the email. So this is the email. Moving forward, here this fax number and field of study is not a required field. And now here I'm going to map the first name. So this is the first name of the lead. Moving forward. Here for the status, I'm going to select the status as active. Moving forward. These are not a required field, so here I'm going to leave them blank. Scrolling little down. And here I'm going to map the last name. So this is the last name. Scrolling little down. Again, these fields are not a required field, so here I'm going to leave them blank. And here for the phone number, I'm going to map the lead's phone number. So this is the phone number. Moving forward, again here these fields are not a required field, so here I'm going to leave them blank. But if you want to add any other detail, then you can do it as per your need. And now here after entering all the required data, here I'm going to click on this save and send test request. And here you can see we have received a successful response. That means we have successfully created a new contact in our HubSpot CRM account. So now let's go and check it. And here you can see we have successfully created a new contact with the name dummy lead, email as dummy at the read and a random phone number. So with this, we have successfully set up this action step. Now let's move to another action step by clicking on this add action step button given over here. And here I'm going to select my action application as Airtable.
So Airtable is a flexible and user-friendly database tool that combines the simplicity of a spreadsheet with the power of a database. It's like having a supercharged Excel that can do a lot more. People use Airtable because it helps them organize and manage their project, data and workflows in a visual and customizable way. You can create tables, link records, add attachments and even set up automations to streamline your task. Whether you are planning a project, managing inventory or tracking client information, Airtable makes it easy to keep everything in one place and collaborate with your team effortlessly. So here in my Airtable action step, I'm going to select my action event as create a record so that after creating a contact in my HubSpot CRM account, automatically that lead detail should be added in my Airtable as a new record. And now to connect my Airtable with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Airtable account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Airtable. And here you can see Pabli Connect is requesting Airtable access. So here I'm going to select my base and here to select my base, let me take you back to my Airtable account. So here in my Airtable account, you can see my base which I have created with the name Leads. So moving back to Pabli's window and here I'm going to add a base by clicking on this add a base button. And here I'm going to search for my base which is named as Leads. So this is my workspace and here I'm going to select it. And now here after selecting this base, here I'm going to click on this grant access and give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful. Now here after building a successful connection, moving forward, and then here it is asking me for a base name, table name, name, email, and phone number. So here as we have already seen my base name, which is leads. So here I'm going to select my base name as leads. Now here after selecting this base name, here it is asking me for a table name. So here to get this table name, let me take you back to my table account. And here you can see that my table name is table 1. So moving back to Pabli's window and here I'm going to select my table name as table 1. Now moving forward and then here it is asking me for a name, email, phone number and city. So basically these are the fields which I've entered in my air table. So moving back to Pabli's window. Now again here instead of entering these details manually, here I'm going to map the data. So here I'm going to map the leads full name. So here I'm going to select first name, space, last name. Moving forward, here I'm going to map the leads email. Here I'm going to map the leads phone number. And lastly, here I'm going to map the leads city. And now here it is asking me for enable typecasting. So for that, I'm going to select false. And now here after successfully entering all the details, here I'm going to click on the save and send this request. And here you can see we have received a successful response. That means we have successfully added a new record in our Airtable account. So now let's go and check it. And here you can see we have successfully added a new record in our Airtable with the name dummy lead, email as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com, a random phone number and city as Bhopal. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation with a real time example to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation, we need to generate another test lead in our Facebook lead ads. And for that, let me take you back to my lead ads testing tool. So here in my lead ads testing tool, I need to delete my previous lead in order to create a new one because it says you can create one lead per form you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So here to delete my previous lead, I'm going to click on this delete lead button given over here. And after that, I'm going to refresh my window and that's a necessary step. Now again here in leaders testing tool, I'm going to select my page which is named as constructive visions. So this is my page and here I'm going to select my form as lead form. And now here to generate a new test lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. And again here I'm going to enter dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as test, last name as lead, email as test at the rate a 
a random phone number and city as Ajmer. And now here after entering all the required data, here I'm going to click on this continue and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's go and check our HubSpot account first. Here I'm going to refresh it. And here you can see we have successfully created a new contact with the name test lead. Email as test at the rate pablitudes.com and a random phone number. Now let's go and check our Airtable account. And here you can see we have successfully added a new record over here with the name test lead. Email as test at the rate pablitudes.com and a random phone number and city as Ajmer. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as HubSpot CRM and Airtable. So that whenever a new lead is generated in our Facebook lead ads, automatically using that detail, a new contact should be created in our HubSpot CRM account for that lead. And after that, automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Airtable as a new record. Now if you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clue link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.